What's up shifters? Welcome back. My name is Gregson. Thank you for tuning back into Shifting Lanes. Welcome back to another car auction news video. In the last video, I told you we were starting a new series here on Shifting Lanes about car auction news, and that's exactly what this is. If you missed the first episode, click the card right above me, and you should probably go watch that first because I'm about to spoil the whole episode for you right now for anything that you did see that was auctionable in that last episode. So go check that out first if you haven't seen it, and then come back to this one, and you can watch this one where we talk about more car auction news for you guys. As always, all the cars I talk about in these videos will be in the link in the description below. You can check all of them out. I really hope you do because they're all super cool and everyone I personally loved and I personally picked out to bring to you guys. Without further ado, I have my handy dandy cell phone right here and I am going to hop into what I spotted last time and we'll see exactly what prices happened because they were very all over the place and I was wrong on a couple of cases. So let's hop right in. First up was the gorgeous Volvo P1800. It sold for $20,250. I said it was going to go between 35 and 50. Um, after looking at it again a little bit more closely, it was a little bit rough around the edges in a couple of places, and I think that's why it went so low. Uh, really good examples, really pristine examples are going for thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars. So that's why it went a little bit lower than I predicted. The NSX battle: the red NSX from Cars and Bids and the silver NSX from Bring a Trailer. The red NSX from Cars and Bids sold for thirty-three thousand six hundred and eighty dollars, and the silver one sold for fifty-two thousand five hundred dollars. Really interesting part of the market, and really interesting to see how the two different sites worked and also how the two different cars worked. Red one was a little bit worse for wear. Um, it had an automatic. It was uh, less desirable. Le it didn't have as good of pictures as the silver one. Silver one was a manual. It was just in better shape. So really interesting to see how that market is defined by those two particular auctions. The Cadillac CTSV wagon sold for $34,250. I think that that was a pretty spot on price and I believe I said it was $35,000 to $40,000 and you could probably steal it for thirty, dollars but it went for right about market price so it was a good bid. It was a whoever bought this car got a really good value for money. And last but not least the 488 Pista, the Ferrari 488 Pista that I had mentioned bid to $440,000 did not sell. A little surprised about that. Uh, apparently these are going for north of $500,000. So. Uh, I think that 440 probably wasn't the money that it was going to bring in. It started at 405,000. The uh, the value of these are increasing if you buy them and then just sit on them. We got a lot of news to cover today. We got a lot of cars to cover. So let's just jump right into it. The first one I want to talk about is this 1999 12,000 mile Acura NSX Zanardi edition. This is the number 51 out of that entire series. They had a series of them. This is the 51st edition of that particular car. This is already bid to 250. $15,000. So this just goes to show you what rarity and condition and mileage can do for the value of a car. This is a collector's version of an amazing car that everyone really loves. So $215,000 $51 with five days left. It'll be really interesting to see where this goes. It could be a record for NSX's on auction sites. The next one I want to talk about is a Lamborghini that's only bid to $7,000 right now. How? Well, it's a tractor because if you don't know anything about the Lamborghini history, well, Go look it up because it's very fascinating. Just like Porsche, Lamborghini used to make tractor and farm equipment. And this one is very cool. It's a 1964 Lamborghini 2R tractor. And it looks like it has a golf livery paint scheme, which is just phenomenal to me. I love that. I think it's hysterical. It's not in, in a good way. Like, I love that. I don't know anything about these tractors. I just think they're very, very cool. So if you want to go check it out, uh, again, check the link in the description below. And yeah. Go look up the history of Lamborghini. This is just a really, really cool find. Another car I want to talk about is this 14,000 mile 2013 competition package E92 M3. E92 two door, E90 four door. This is a really good example. This is one of those rare ish kind of cars that could increase in value over time. You're seeing E46 M3s increase in value right now. This could be another one that creeps up in value over time. The E90s, the, the E9X generation is going to increase in value, I believe, within the next five to 10 years. Not crazy, but it still is going to increase. This is gonna be a good one. It's $28,500. 
with six days left. So I could see this thing going for between 35 to 40,000. And if you get the right buyer, it could go north of 40. So we'll be tracking this one and we'll report back on it next time. The last one I want to mention on Bring a Trailer is staggeringly gorgeous and a ton of money. It is a 1957 Mercedes-Benz SL300 Gullwing. And I lusted after this car when I was a kid because I had a model of it on, well, my dad had a model of it on his shelf in our living room and it was silver, it was the racing one, it had the livery on it and it had the gullwing doors, it was just so cool. And this is a beautiful example. It has 91,000 kilometers, approximately 56,000 miles shown. It's numbers matching, inline six, numbers matching four speeds transmission, blue gray over blue, uh, it has just, everything that you could want and it even includes the original owner's manual and a hardbound restoration book from when this thing was fully restored current bid is eight hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars with 13 days left going to be really interesting to see how this goes we'll report back see if it goes north of a million so with all that said back to the two cars i wanted to talk about at the beginning of the video Cobras, Shelby Cobras, original Shelby Cobras go for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And this one's only going for 47.5. Why? Well, because it is a replica. A lot of companies make replicas. And this is a 2019 Factory 5 Mark IV Roadster. And it looks pretty damn accurate, you gotta say. Because a lot of these companies have really honed in on how to make these old Shelby Cobras um, look like the original Shelby Cobras. This is not a Shelby Cobra. Basically what this is, it's uh, I'll read the listing for you. It's a Shelby Cobra replica that is powered by a carbureted 302 CI V8 paired with a Tremec 5-speed manual transmission, finished in silver with yellow tape stripes. Car is equipped with side pipes, dual reservoir disc brakes, adjust with adjustable bias, a limited slip diff, twin roll hoops, and 17 inch Hale brand style wheels. Approximately 300 miles have been driven since it was assembled from a complete factory five racing kit under current ownership. If I had, you know, 50, $60,000 to throw at a kit car, this probably would be it because they are really good. They're not, they're not like restoration quality, but they're still extremely accurate and extremely good kit cars. So the reason why the Cobras you may see going around for only you know tens of thousands of dollars as opposed to hundreds if not millions is because it's most likely a replica. If you go in and look at the history, you can find out which ones are the originals by VINs and numbers matching and stuff like that. So go check those out. But this is a really cool car. It's beautiful. Uh, I think it's it's really, really nice. It just, it's, I, I love these cars. They're old, they're classic, they're great. Go check it out. It's a really cool listing. It was sold for 47.5. Um, so it's not gonna, we're not gonna have any updates on it, but it's just a very cool car to go check out. The last car I wanna talk about is this. It's a 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. I was actually at the launch of the Demon when it happened at the New York Auto Show a couple of years back, and it was this big blow up party, and it was so cool. It's the first drag car from factory, essentially. You got big sticky tires, you got tiny little wheels up front, and this one only has six miles on it. So basically someone bought this and stashed it. Now you could originally get these things for just a shade under $100,000, and this one sold for $123,000. So this person bought it in 2018, stashed it for two years, and made 23 grand at auction. So that's a really decent amount of money for just buying a car and not doing anything with it. So Demons, if you don't know, they have a bunch of different options that you could add for a dollar, like seats and the, the, the Demon crate and whatever. And when these go at auctions, a lot of the times they'll ask what the extras were. Did it come with the Demon crate? Did it come with this, that, and the other thing? This one did come with the Demon branded Nitto drag radials and the Demon Crate. So it had those two things going for it, which makes it a little bit more rare, a little bit more wanted in the auction market. Now the Demons aren't crazy rare. They made 3,300 of them. My Volvo V70R, they only made 3,400 of them. So they're not extremely rare, but interestingly enough to see that modern cars that aren't just Porsche 911s, you can buy and stash and they will make money for you. So the car market's still very strong, especially on the auction side for things like that. And Demons, I think could continue, you'll, you'll continue to see these increase in value over time, especially the ones that don't get run or don't get, you know, 
dragged out at the strip because they won't get beat on and they're still rare enough where people do want them. So within the next four, five, six years, you could see these going for 150, maybe even $200,000 should the original demons that are getting used, these stashed ones that are more rare, they might actually gain a ton more value because they're still in their stock form and they haven't been beaten on. So interesting to see that and i really love it because it's in green and i love green cars so that'll do it for today's auction news let me know what you thought about all the cars hit me up in the comments below did you like them did you think that i was off on some of my predictions did you think i anything just tell me anything i really want to hear your feedback on this series and if you know of other car auction sites that you want to see featured in these videos also Email us, contact at Shifting Lanes, or leave it in the comments below. I want to get a full run of the internet for all of these car auctions and to get more cars to you guys so we can talk about them. Again, don't forget to follow us on social media at Shifting Lanes anywhere you are, and that will do it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time for more car auction news. See ya!